go ahead and grab some dumbbells or your water bottle for this full body dumbbell only workout. We're going to be doing lots of compound exercises for this and that means compound exercises is working more than one body part. It makes the workout a little more efficient and you also burn more calories. So grab those weights, those palms are going to face your ears. We're going to do some squats with some overhead presses. Overhead presses, okay? So, legs are hip width apart. Pull that belly button in. I want you to shift the weight to your heels, sit back into that squat, and then give me an overhead press. Sit back into the squat, overhead press. Keep your chest lifted, overhead, get that full extension with the arms. Now this is option one. You can stay here, or you can come up on those tippy toes, and come back down. Option two, on the toes, back to the heels, keep those knees behind your toes, keep that belly button in, focus on something still. Now the most advanced option would be the squat thrusters. So shifting that weight to your heel, power up and down, power up and down. Good. So you'll be doing 12 of those exercises. Either keep your heels down, come up on the toes, or power up with the thruster. Maybe you want to grab a little extra heavier weight because we're moving on. Okay, from here, we're going to be doing a deadlift with a back row. Let me first show you the proper technique for the deadlift. So, <clears throat> your hands are right in front of your thighs. Try not to rest them against your legs, okay? Your legs are hip width apart. Shoulders are back. The belly button is pulled to the spine, to the spine so you make sure you have support for that low back. Now keep those shoulders away from the ears. You're going to push those hips back, slide those weights down, use those abs, inhale, exhale, squeeze the butt at the top. Now here, at the down position, I'm not collapsing. My shoulders are square, I've got a nice flat back. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the butt cheeks, good. Now one thing to be mindful of, you want to keep those weights close to your body. All right, we don't want those arms way out here. And again, don't collapse. Now we're gonna be adding on with that back row. Deadlift, squeeze those shoulder blades together, lower and stand tall. Keep the weights close, nice square shoulders, bring those elbows out to the side, lower and stand tall, good. Option here, if it's too much to lift both of those arms at the same time, what I want you to do is just do one arm at a time. Down and up. Okay, watch that posture. Nice flat back, belly button's engaged. Bring it down, up, down, and twist and stand tall. Now we're moving on. So with that exercise, we work those hamstrings, cellulite area ladies, and your butt, and we also work that upper back. I'm gonna put one weight down as we move on for our next exercise. Another compound exercise here. What we'll be doing is a reverse lunge with a rotation. Now when you're doing your rotation, I want you to Think about lifting from the torso and rotating from the torso. As we do so, we're going to keep those hip bones facing forward. Please do not twist from your lumbar. The lumbar is not made for rotation. That's why we have this waist. We're lifting and twisting. All right. So grab that one weight horizontally. We're going to bring it. We're not resting it here. I'm gonna step my right leg back, bend both knees, all the weight is in that left heel. 
Now, I'm gonna rotate to the left. Come back center, step forward. That right foot steps back. Bend both knees, rotate toward that front leg. Make sure that belly button is in. Step back, keep that weight in that left heel, keep your shoulders lifted, and be mindful that that left knee stays behind your toe. Again, we're going to do 12 repetitions on each leg. I'm just going to step my left leg back now, bending both knees, rotate to the right, all the weight is in that right heel, and step forward. Now if you need to, you can always grab onto a chair and just hold that weight here and grab onto that chair. Again, be mindful that you're not twisting from the hips and you're standing tall, okay? We're not leaning forward. That belly button's in, the weight's in the right heel, and step forward. Nice work. You should have felt it in here, and also probably in that butt and those hamstrings. Grab your other weight and join me on the floor. We're moving on to our chest presses. With your chest presses, you could probably use heavier weights because it's a bigger body part. Now, the first and foremost and the most important thing is you want to keep that low back into the mat. So that means you've got to have that belly button pulled to the spine the entire time. All right, we're going to start off with goal post arms. Those knuckles are punching the ceiling. Those wrists are just above the elbows. My low back is into the mat. I'm gonna turn my weights just a little bit on a diagonal. Exhale, push those weights up, squeeze the chest. Inhale, and bring it back down. Exhale, squeeze your chest. That belly button is engaged. Remember, we're keeping that low back into the mat. To increase the intensity, obviously you want to increase that weight. That'll make it a little bit more challenging. The regression to this, if it's too much doing both arms, go ahead and just do one arm at a time. Okay, just do one arm at a time. And I want you to focus on those chest muscles and that body part. It's that mind-muscle connection that makes things work. And it's the speed with which you do it. We're not just gonna push and push, make it fast. We wanna do everything slow and controlled. Our final exercise for today, once again, it's a combo exercise. And I think you're gonna really enjoy this because it's just a fun little creation I did and it's very efficient. So grab a chair or sit on your bench. And you might want to do a little bit lighter weight here because we're going to work our biceps and our triceps. I'm sitting on a diagonal so you can see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll push myself back a little bit here. Okay, we'll start with that right arm for the bicep. But we're going to do that left arm with the tricep kickback. So sit up nice and tall. That right elbow goes right in the middle of that right thigh. So think about it as a bicep concentration curl. My left arm, elbow is tucked in. All right, so it might be a little coordination here, but I know you've got it in you and you can do it. So go, go ahead and give me a curl and kick back at the same time. So we're exhaling as we exert our energy, squeezing the biceps, squeezing those triceps, and inhale as we release. Now what more efficient exercise can you have, right? It's lots of fun, squeeze that bicep, squeeze the tricep. And remember, we're gonna do 12 repetitions on each side. 
I'm switching now. My left elbow on the inner left thigh. Now, maybe you can see how my hand is kind of on a diagonal here, right? And that's the way I want it to be. So it's not like a regular bicep curl here. It's more on a diagonal. Right arm up, tucked in, abs engaged. Exhale, kick back and squeeze bicep and tricep. Remember to have a relaxed grip on those dumbbells. Exhale, mind-muscle connection with that tricep, mind-muscle connection with that bicep. Exhale as you exert, inhale as you release. Oh, we'll do a couple more here. And last time. Good, so we got a full body workout in there. We worked our shoulders, our legs, our abs, our back, our chest, and the biceps and triceps. Give that little, give this little workout a try, and I think you're gonna like it. And let me know in the comments how you like it. And also, don't forget to um, subscribe to the LWCA Fitness YouTube channel, and share the video with your friends if you like it as well. I'll see you next time.